Welcome back ladies and gents to another TPM tactical video. Today's video is going to cover off quickly on how to get the persistent system working for either your conflict game mode or game master. Uh, this is a big shout out to here, uh, to this guy, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but he helped me out. I suck at scripting and he provided, obviously this generated this mod here, which we can be used for conflict, which I'll chuck in the, um, what do you call it, YouTube video description. Uh, however, for GM, we just go to create a script. And again, special thanks to him. He helped me out and got, helped me get it working for my server. So I appreciate the help. Um, okay, so persistent system 1.6. Here's some information here. Again, just quickly search Armor Forge Persistent System and jump on the wiki. Otherwise, I'll throw the link in the description. Uh, server config, you will need this information here as well. So you need to be able to have this here in your, in your mission header of your server config. So as for example, uh, here's my server running now. You can see I've got some save points already kicking off. Uh, let's go to my config. Where is it? So I've got this here, this um, M underscore E save types um, and this information here. So this persistent. So auto save interval is five, data bar hive ID is zero. Obviously you can link this to other information. Um, However, keeping it very simple, and I just copied this from Gramps who posted it on the Discord mega thread in the Armour Forger Discord. Okay, so what you need to do first, make sure your server has this set up. And again, the information will be, I'll just put this in the link, but Armour Forger server config wiki, scroll down to persistence, and you can read the information here. It talks about the uh, auto save intervals, a Hive IDs database and the storage, and also probably have a good read through here. If you're just running conflict, all you need now is this mod running in your server and obviously this information here and then you're good to go. However, if you're running game, um, game master, you will need to add a script in, which is this script here. And again, I'll leave that in the description below. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a new project quickly TT Game Master example. Let's boot that up. Okay, so here's my project. And now what I want to do is the file that I need to, the script I need to create is going to modify where is it? Give me one second. Hmm, I forgot the push on systems. Game mode. Um, why am I in prefabs? Scripts is what I'm after. Game. Now I have lost it. Game mode, here we go. Um, and in here, so this here, SCR game mode campaign is the conflict one, but what we want is this one here. So this is what we need to basically modify. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cheat and, where'd it go? Right click on this, I'm just gonna duplicate it. It's gonna get a random name. I'm just duplicating for the purpose of creating the folder structure for me. So I'm having to create the folders. Now I'm gonna go delete that. Um, okay, so what I wanna do now, right click and go script. And I'm, so it is by default called SCR. I'm gonna give it a different name. So TCR helps me identify any scripts that I've added into my missions. Uh, it was a game mode editor. Yep, once that's done, it will generate, it should kick off, yep. Game scripts loaded, I'm gonna double click on here, which will open up the new uh, window. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste this information here, so this script, straight in. I'm not gonna go over this script because I'm not a scripter. I have very little knowledge in relation to this stuff, but what it's basically doing is, it's, re it's booting up your last save post server restart. This is happening, this is required due to the fact that the load session save um, command line, so you start a parameter for your server is currently bugged. 
um, and not working. Hopefully, it'll be fixed next week at the rollout of the Thursday update, but or Thursday in Australia anyway, whatever it is, wherever you are, I'm not sure. Um, but hopefully, that resolves the issue when they oh, fix that update. But in the meantime, this is being used, and this is basically the exact same script is being used in this one however this one here is for conflict and this will be here for your gm so once you've done this just save it control s and that should be everything you need to do so all we're going to do now is i'm going to close this and reopen just to make sure that everything starts up correctly That's always good. No errors popping up. Yep, sweet, that loaded. Okay, so now all you need to do is publish this to the workshop and load it onto your server. So as long as you have that script for Game Master plus, where are we? Plus your persistent information in your mission header, then you're good to go and it will auto save. So as you can see here, this is saving every five minutes as per my um, setup. And the location is in your profile, profile, save game. And you can see here, name of my current mission that I have running on my server, playthrough, and you have these save points. Every five minutes, this saves. There is a max of 999 of these saves where after that it crashes according to what I've read on the Discord. Uh, thanks to Graham. So if you want to, if you get to max, you can just rename this here to say, for example, uh, rename this to 001, uh, make sure you delete all these first, rename this to 001, go into here, into the meta info JSON and change this point one number here to number one and save that. And then, yeah, so hopefully that helps you out. This is really only required until they fix the update uh, for the load save session, um, or whatever the exact name is, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, however, the persistent information is definitely still required within your uh, mission header or within your server config. Uh, yeah, so hopefully that helps some people out. Again, if you like these videos, please hit that like and subscribe and leave comments below on any questions you have or other tutorials you'd like to see. And again, feel free to hit me up on Discord. Just search TPM in the Armour Discord. Um, yeah, sweet. Awesome. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.